Alright guys, here is a, another video on my Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro 8.4 inch and today, since a lot of people ask me about this, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to install a custom kernel on this device which allows you to overclock your CPU, your GPU um, for graphics and a bunch of extra tr tricks and little tweaks in it. This is called like beast mode kernel um, and I'll talk a little bit about it as we go through it. So let me just go ahead and get into this so that everybody's on the same page here. First thing I recommend if you followed along in my videos is go ahead and have your custom recovery set up, have your root access set up, and get Flashify because I'll show you why. Um, I would recommend it for this one reason right here is that you can back up your stock kernel right there as a backup and then you can always restore it if you need to for some reason if you don't like this beast mode kernel. Alright, so that's being said, let me just show you guys really quick. This is an application called System Tuner Pro. I use this a lot. I like it for doing any of my CPU tweaks. So we're going to go into CPU Manager. And in here you can adjust a bunch of things. But um, right here is where it talks about your min-max uh, CPU speeds. So your minimum right now is 300 megahertz, and your maximum is 2.0. 2.6 gigahertz. That's stock. Okay, that's how this device comes. You have four processors. You can see them. You can see your GPU here of a maximum of shoot 450 megahertz, and right now it's running at 320. But and you can slide that and adjust it and tweak it how you like. You can also adjust governors and different things in here, and really get into all kinds of fun stuff. This is on interactive governor at the moment. All right, so you can see where we're at. Basically, we're at that uh, 450 uh, megahertz for GPU for your graphics, and then your main processors, your four cores, are at 2.26 gigahertz. All right, so that's what we're working with stock. That because this device is still stock, but prerequisites to be able to apply this uh, kernel is go ahead and download it. I'll show you where mine is right here, right here, Beast Mode Kernel. And this is for the STM T320, like I said, Samsung Galaxy Pro Tab 8.4 Wi Fi version. All right, I've got the zip on my device. You got to have the zip, know where it's at. It's very important. All right, so we know that information, um, and we need to get into recovery, right? Um, you know what? I didn't download my app for that. So we're going to do it this way. This is really cool. This thing's got a lot in it. One of the features is terminal. So we're going to go ahead and just do uh, type in enter and it's granted root permission and then we're just going to do reboot recovery because I don't have a button in this app or this ROM or a reboot to recovery feature built in. I just don't want to feel like doing the keys. So terminal emulator can always do this. You just type su first to get root permission and then you say reboot recovery. Hit enter and device shuts off reboots you see you have the standard warning stuff up there and it'll go right into recovery now I've got Torp recovery so again prerequisite obviously is you gotta have a custom recovery to install a custom kernel with overclocking and all that so we're just very simple whenever you install a kernel you don't have to do any wiping you just go ahead and flash it alright and since we have the backup in Flashify of our original kernel we can always go back to it very simply alright so we're just gonna go to install and I have my kernel in downloads, beast mode kernel zip, select it, it's listed, swipe across to flash. Now this does actually flash two things. It flashes one, your boot image, which is your kernel, and it flashes two, some libs slash modules, um, so that it gives you more features in your kernel, um, like different governors and things like that. All right, so it's done, flashes very, very fast, very small file, just go ahead and reboot, and if your kernel is, oh no, see here it says flashing and it says kernel is not, so it tells you that you have a custom kernel right there, which is interesting. I wasn't expecting that, but it also tells you you have a custom recovery, so it makes sense. Anytime you run something custom, it gives you a little warning about it. All right, so you can see, right, looks exactly the same like it normally boots, right? 
All right, so we're gonna go into System Tuner Pro. Knox is stopped, not a big deal, it does not matter because we don't want Knox anyway. All right, so here it is, so you can see it already. Now, your clock speed, your max clock speed is up to 2.72 gigahertz. So you picked up about half a gig in clock speed uh, on your CPU, which is really cool. GPU is still set at the 450, but you can ramp it all the way up to 600 now um, for your GPU. So if you're going to pull some like quadrants and stuff like that, um, you can definitely get some better scores with this. Um, now you also have time voltages you can adjust for all of your uh, frequencies. So basically you picked up, I don't know why it keeps doing this, Samsung, unfortunately Nox is, maybe I need to disable that application again. I already knew super users should have disabled it, but I'll maybe do that again. Um, so right here you've got, you know, the added CPU frequencies you added are 2.34, 2.41, 2.49, 2.57, 2.64, 2.72. What I would recommend with these frequencies though is f you might not want to start out at the top one because it could cause instability on your device. So maybe what I would do is, you know, start at 2.41, shouldn't be an issue for your device. Run it. If you have no issues with it running like that for a couple days, scoot it up. You know, if you, if you run it at 2.7, 2.57 and it works good for a couple days scoot up a little more um, just because if you go all the way up and you have crashes that that can happen when every time you overclock your processor you got to kind of fiddle back and forth with uh, the information to really get it stable for you and the best performance for yourself now people always ask me also how do you know what kernel works for your device well the way I do it is I just basically go to the XDA form for my device, I find kernels, make sure my device is listed, find out if, if the kernel is supposed to work with any ROM or just stock ROM, um, and just read through the posting for that kernel to find out if it's going to work for my application. That's how I do it. So it's a little research, you got to dig through it. You can't just find any willy nilly kernel out there and think it's going to work on your device because it isn't. Um, this kernel is based for stock ROM, just so you can, so you know that. But there you go. So that's what you get. You got governors here. Um, we didn't show you those. So it says interactive and it's got some performance um, on demand, user space, power saver, all that kind of stuff. I didn't really change any of those. Um, but voltage is definitely different and then your GPU and CPU speeds. There is some other tweaks built into it um, that are on here that you should, uh, should notice some performance improvements in speed. Because he pulled out some stuff you didn't need, added some things to make it a little better. So. There you go, guys. That's going to be it. That's going to be how to install Beast Mode uh, Kernel on your Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro 8.4 inch Wi Fi version. Hope you guys like this video. Stay tuned for more. I'll be doing some ROM installs and stuff like that as uh, development happens on this device. And we'll catch you guys next time. Root Junkie out. I got a little PS here. I was playing with this after I finished recording a video, and uh, I just got to show you this. It's pretty crazy. Um, so right here, this is my quadrant score on stock settings, okay, um, for a GPU and CPU, and I got almost well 18,877 in quadrant, okay. If we scroll over, tweaked everything to the max, CPU, GPU left my uh, governor the same. Now we're at 26,566. That is the performance boost we're talking about. We're picking up here 7,000 on my score um, in Quadrant by adjusting these two tweaks. That's the beauty of custom kernels right there. If you really want performance and speed and power, boom, that is the way to do it. So there you go, that's all.